We get a lot of calls from people who want to know when they should tell the insurance adjuster. And the first thing we can understand is that there are at least two insurance adjusters involved. And the answer is different depending on which one you're talking to. The insurance adjusters can be pretty aggressive. So this is why we get calls because people have gotten 12 calls in the course of a week or two and they want to know what to say. There are two insurance companies involved in any car crash. There's your insurance company, which provides you with personal injury protection, PIP, sometimes called PIP. And then there's the other insurance company for the driver who hit you. Now, we deal with these two very differently. Your insurance company, you need to cooperate with to a certain extent because they want to collect $15,000 in the medical bills. Um, Now the one thing I would say with your own insurance company, even though they're supposed to be on your side, is don't give them a recorded statement. Now the reason for this is that a recorded statement can only be used against you, it can never be used in your favor. Sometimes your insurance company is going to insist on it. Some of them do that sometimes without real rhyme or reason. And if they do, it puts you in a tough spot because if you refuse, they may stop paying your medical benefits. Um, in fact, with our clients, when that happens, we have a tough decision to make. What we sometimes do is say, okay, we will let our client give a recorded statement, but I, the lawyer, am going to be sitting in the room with them, and if you ask them any inappropriate questions, I'm going to put a stop to them and advise them. Um, if you don't have a lawyer, you've got a tough situation because they're going to use recorded against you, but if you don't give it, they're going to stop paying the medical bills. If you have health insurance, that's not necessarily the way you want. If your auto insurance is not going to pay the medical bills, if you have health insurance, you don't pick up the slack. If you don't have health insurance, you're really in a tough spot. Now let's switch gears. If the insurance company for the person who hit you calls you up, my advice would be to hang up the phone. You do not need to speak with them. Um, I advise people who are going to try to settle the case themselves do as much good as you can in writing. In particular, anything they say is getting in writing. If they make you an offer, get it right. If they threaten you, which they sometimes will do on the phone, get it right. If you insist upon talking with them on the phone and negotiating that way, do not let them record you. I have seen cases ruined by recorded statements and I know that you're planning to only tell the truth, but you have to understand these insurance adjusters have been doing this a long time, they know a lot of tricks, and even though you think you're just going to stick to the truth, they will ask you tricky questions that you can't anticipate, and you'll stutter and stammer and you'll answer one way or another, and then they will play that trial, which is going to make you so please, don't give a recorded statement to the other insurance company, and don't give a recorded statement to your own insurance company unless you really have to.